Hello guys, I just finished watching Gladiator 2 and I found out 10 significant questions that have been left unanswered throughout the movie. There's going to be a couple of spoilers ahead so be careful about that. In chapter 1, Maximus was shown to be a deep believer in God. He had a conviction that he will get to see his wife and son again as soon as he dies. But in chapter 2, the son of Maximus was not shown to be devoted to this kind of religious belief. And that makes me wonder, is he an atheist or an agnostic? In chapter 1, a man named Cassius was the host of the gladiator show and right now there is another man appointed as the host of this show. Is there any way he is the son of Cassius? Because they both look the same in many ways. In gladiator 1, Proximo reveals to Maximus that he once used to be a gladiator and he won his freedom from the emperor after killing everyone in the competition and surviving until the end. Now, would that be correct if I said that Macrinus is also a former winner of the gladiator competition? And if he really is the winner, who gave him the freedom after that? Was that Lucilla? Was that Senator Gracchus? Or was that Emperor Marcus himself? Exactly who gave him freedom after the win? Or is there any way he never fought as a gladiator? According to the movie, Caracalla and Geta are the sons of the former Roman Emperor Septimius Severus. Now, this man has no ties with the family of the former ruler Commodus. And that means an outsider basically took the reign of the Roman Empire in the aftermath. Now the question is, exactly when and how did Septimius Severus take control of the Roman Empire? This is obviously a major event in the gladiator universe but they never showed even a single tease of what happened after the death of Commodus. Senator Trax was shown to be directly involved in the dirty politics of Macrinus. Now, Macrinus is dead but what's gonna happen with Senator Trax? He is still a major threat to the Roman Empire but he was never shown to be punished even by the end of the movie. So where is Trax right now? When Macrinus puts the head of Emperor Geta on the folded towel, you can basically notice that there is no blood spill around the bottom side even though the blood was still fresh. So what can be the explanation behind this? By the end of the movie, Lucius manages to kill Macrinus and unites the military personnel of Rome for a greater future. Now the question is, who will become the next emperor of the Great Rome? Is Lucius going to sit on the throne or he will leave the fate of Rome in the hands of the Senate just like his father Maximus did in the past. The end credit scene showed a grain field and by the look of the ring it seems crystal that this hand is of Lucius. Now the question is, did Lucius go to Trujillo which was the house of Maximus? Did he want to see the house of his father for which he decided to go over there? There is another mystery from chapter 1 of the movie which was never resolved even in the second chapter of this franchise. Who is the husband of Lucilla and exactly how did he die? Did the husband of Lucilla die of natural causes or he was actually slain by someone? Is there any way Commodus decided to kill his brother-in-law considering the fact that he had an incestuous nature towards his own sister? Why did Lucilla choose to break up with Maximus in the past? Is that because the people of Rome will never accept a noble person to marry a civilian? And these are the questions that have been left unanswered throughout the movie. If you guys have answers to any of these questions, you can let me know in the comment section.